Today's video is sponsored by Native. Another beautiful morning, a little cloudy, but we are going to Dollar Tree to find new pairs of flip-flops that we can use for beautiful home decor. I'm going to start with this piece of wood. This one I found just like this. It was already black on one side, which I'm not sure why. It was in this scrap wood area at the hardware store. I'm going to give it a pretty heavy coat of paint. This is actually outdoor paint that we can place out in the porch. With my Cricut, I created a stencil that I am going to use to create the word or the phrase, Hello Summer. We're going to make a beautiful, very vibrant vertical sign for my porch. The way this works is just like a stencil, except it's sticky and you can only use it once. So I'm just going to place it right on the top and remove the transfer tape. Then I'm just going to use several different colors. And these are colors that complement the flip-flops that we're going to be using for this one. It's a beautiful teal color. It's Highland Blue by Rustoleum Milk Paint. This is a yellow by Rustoleum Milk Paint. It's actually Venetian yellow and then an orange. I'm going to use my flip-flops, just place them right there just to make sure that I know exactly where to place my M's and then the E and the R. And I'll repeat the process all the way down. I realized that I made the stencils way too small and thin on the edges, so I'm just going to place some masking tape to give me a little wiggle room. I'm gonna use the same colors, alternating them all down the word summer. The flip-flops that we're gonna be using today are the youth size. These are the little kid size, and I thought it was just so adorable to replace the letter U with them. So I'm just gonna remove the tag and of course, we're just gonna hot glue them. They're very lightweight and they stuck really well. You can also brat nail them or just nail them or even staple them if you want to. Again, I'm just gonna place it. And then to finish everything off, I do wanna seal everything because I wanna make sure that it's gonna be ready for the elements out in my porch. So I'm just gonna spray it a couple of times, let it dry, and that's it for this one. Such a beautiful sign. I love the vibrant colors. I love those cute little flip-flops, but I would love to know what you think. Let me tell you a little bit more about Native. So on recent months, I have been on a mission to really make some changes in my personal life, including changing products that weren't too good for me. I came across Native and I absolutely love their products. I love that I am using products that are good for you, clean, fun, and cruelty free. They are also aluminum and paraben free. I have been loving their deodorant. I love their lilac and lavender and rose and coconut and vanilla, but my favorite is their lavender and rose. It's not sticky and it feels so dry when applying it. You are going to love this deodorant. And their baking soda free formula provides up to 72 hours of protection. And their body wash is also just so wonderful to use, silky and foamy. And for a very limited time, they are offering you, my viewers, 20% discount site-wide. Just use code DIYBEAUTY at checkout and hurry because it is for a limited time. I know you're going to love them. Check them out. Link is in the description box. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm going to take this beautiful, these are youth size flip-flops. They complement each other in color. I'm also going to use this container that I found recently at the Dollar Tree and some floral foam. I'm also going to be using some skewer sticks. I removed the jute string from it because I am going to replace it with this beautiful teal burlap ribbon just to add a little color. And then once I had it attached, I am going to add more jute string to the center, but this one's more of a lacy look, and I thought it really complemented the design very nicely. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and I have those links down below in the description box, so when you're done watching, make sure you go down there and check it out. All right, so now I'm going to take some floral foam, and I'm just going to hot glue it right down in the center of the container. This is where it gets really fun. So I'm going to remove everything from the flip-flops, of course. And now we're going to take a small screwdriver and I am going to poke holes on the bottom of each flip-flop. Then I'm going to add a little dab of hot glue. And then I'm going to take each screw and just press it right inside that hole. Now, be very careful because sometimes if you don't go straight, it can poke up or down. Just take your time. Be very careful. Now 
Once I had all the flip flats nicely put together, now it's time to place them as an arrangement. So I'm just gonna literally push them through. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it where the back flip flaps are taller and then work my way down cutting the skewer stick as much or as little as I need to. For an added touch of greenery, I'm gonna add these greenery picks from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna add them here and there in between the flip flops. And I am going to hot glue some of the flip flops together. That way they're gonna hold the shape that I'm actually looking for, just like you see there. So I'm gonna keep adding some greeneries to fill it in. Then I am gonna add some moss to the bottom just to fill in that empty area on the bottom and cover up the foam. And then I'm gonna add some cute little yellow flowers to add a pop of color. And that's it for this one. I can't wait to hear what you think of this one. It's such a cute DIY craft. It would be great for an outdoor centerpiece or even indoor. Let me know what you think. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm gonna take this cutting board that I recently found at the Dollar General. It had the letter S on it, but I did want to just go ahead and use the back side of it. I'm gonna sand it down just a little bit just to smooth it out and dust it really, really well. We're gonna create a nice decorative piece for summer using flip flops for my kitchen. So I'm gonna take these beautifully designed flip flops. They have such a summer vibe. I'm gonna hot glue them right on to the cutting board, making sure that they're not gonna overlap the bottom because I do want it to be able to put it on my counter. I'm gonna hot glue them one higher than the other. I'm gonna add some greenery here and there just to add again some character and some fresh natural detail. Friends, I would love for you to consider joining my email list. I send out one email a week just with recent uploads and any new news from my channel and my business. So if you wanna join my email list, the link is down in the description box. So check it out when you are done watching. All right, so now I'm gonna add some of these beautiful yellow flowers from Dollar Tree as well. I'm just gonna place one on the top one on the bottom, and then a smaller yellow one right in the center to fill in that little empty spot. And that's it. How easy was this? You can use any flip flops, any florals you want. And I love the way this looks. I'm gonna place it right in my kitchen in the summertime. For this next DIY craft, we're actually going to build some flip flops. These are gonna be giant ones. I'm gonna take this piece of uh, board, it's just a wooden board that I had in my garage, and I'm gonna freehand what a flip flop I think will look like. And then I am going to make it darker with a permanent marker. Then I'm gonna take some craft paper and I am going to trace that flip flop onto the craft paper. Then I am going to flip that <laughs> paper upside down so now I have an equally sized flip flop to match the pair. I'm gonna use some carbon paper to trace it onto the board. That way I know exactly where I need to cut. I'm also going to trace it again with a permanent marker. That way I'll be able to see exactly where I need to cut. I'm gonna use my drill and a spade bit and I am going to just drill a hole right in the center in between the flip flops. And then I'm gonna use my jigsaw I did clamp down the board very tightly to my workbench using clamps, and I'm just gonna keep cutting with the jigsaw all the way around. The wood board got really splintery, so I am going to sand it down very nicely. It's also going to remove some of that black marker, and that way it's gonna be just nice and smooth. I am going to paint it using an outdoor paint, because this is gonna be outdoors, and I'm just gonna give it a couple of coats for a full coverage. Using a flat screwdriver, I am going to plank it. So basically, I'm just going to plank it, making sure that I'm really pressing down on the board with the screwdriver so it has a little bit of a dent. Now I'm gonna follow those lines and I'm just gonna paint every other stripe, either white or blue. And then on the other flip flops, I'm gonna alternate the same colors, but on the opposite line. Every flip flop needs the straps. So for this one, we are going to make our own using some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. 
I'm going to tie two of them in the end and then I'm going to twist them all the way down and then I'm going to tie them on the top because I want to cut them and make two straps, one for each flip flop. Then it's time to attach them to the actual board. I am going to sand down the edges just a little bit for a little bit more of a beachy, relaxed look. I'm also going to distress the entire thing using my palm sander. That way it's going to have, again, a distressed look. You don't have to do this step. You can certainly skip it, but I do like a distressed look. I'm going to pre-drill some holes and I am going to place an open eye hook on each one. This is where we're going to place the actual straps. Then I'm going to drill a couple more holes on the bottom and that's where the straps are going to tie. Once I had both flip flops with the straps, I am going to pre drill another two holes, one in each of the bottom of the flip flops. And then we're going to place some more open eye hooks. These are going to be larger because this is exactly where we're going to place towels. Now I'm going to use some antiquing wax by Waverly and I'm just going to distress it just a little bit more. I want this to have a look like it's been outdoors weathering nicely. So I'm just going to add it in between the color lines and between the edges where the rope meets the flip flops. I'm just going to add it here and there but I am going to apply and wipe as needed to make sure that it, it smudges and it kind of muffles and just kind of softens that antiquing wax. Of course, we got to add something in the back to be able to hang it. So I'm going to use these sawtooth hooks. These are the ones that you screw in because they're a little bit heavy duty. And that way it's not going to fall on me. This is a pretty heavy piece. And look how stunning these look. They are just top of the line, heavy duty, and so summery. I love the way they turned out. But I would love to know which one is your favorite. Let me know down in the comments. Remember, take advantage of that 20% discount site-wide and Native's website. It is all linked down below in the description box. Thank you, Native, for sponsoring this video. And here's another video. If you want to watch more, click on it. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.